Today, you will witness how the desert and an oasis of freshness intertwine to shape an astonishing haven. We will create the perfect sanctuary for a legendary predator. How will the yellow scorpion face this new territory? Will it explore with stealth or claim its domain as a ruler? One thing is certain, this deadly creature will reveal secrets never seen before. This scorpion, known as Bothus, belongs to the Bothidae family, renowned for including some of the most venomous scorpion species in the world. Although its venom is less potent compared to other members of its family, its skill and predatory prowess are unmatched. To build the perfect stage for this predator, we'll start with the foundation, sand. But a simple handful won't be enough. Once the sand covers every corner of the terrarium, creating the perfect ground, it's time to add an essential detail. Since these scorpions often build their burrows underground, I've prepared a small cave designed to make it feel safe and comfortable in its new home. To complete this landscape, I add small plants that mimic shrubs, recreating a natural environment. These decorations not only enhance the terrarium's beauty, but also provide the scorpion with the perfect setting to explore. I believe these dry leaves over the entrance to its burrow will create the perfect camouflage to secure its shelter. These arachnids are used to moving and thriving among underbrush and low plants. Yes, you heard that right, scorpions belong to the fascinating class of arachnids. I decided to expand the green area of the terrarium as these scorpions occasionally enjoy a bit of moisture and even take a sip from a few drops of water. The arid section, replicating the dry and challenging areas where these scorpions feel most at home. Moss, one of the oldest forms of life on our planet, has existed for over 450 million years. This small yet resilient organism not only adds freshness to the terrarium, but also holds in its tiny leaves the ability to survive in extreme conditions from humid zones to arid climates. It can store water and nutrients, becoming an ideal refuge. And it seems also the home of an unexpected guest, a tiny spider. It was smaller than a grain of rice. The stage is set, and the protagonist has made its entrance. Will the yellow scorpion embrace the fruit of all this effort, claiming this habitat as its home? Or, with its unpredictable nature, will it choose to reject it? As soon as it entered, the scorpion froze, staring at the dinosaur skull as if it had encountered another predator worthy of its respect. Without hesitation, it decided to venture inside the skull. These fearless creatures always explore with determination, assessing whether a place could become the perfect shelter to settle in. The scorpion then ventured into the green, humid area, but it quickly showed its disinterest. With swift steps, it left the spot in no time, as if that corner didn't meet its standards. As soon as the scorpion left the humid area, the tiny spider, which had been absent for a while, unexpectedly appeared on the scene. Without hesitation, it started heading straight toward the gigantic predator. Luckily for her, the Bothus didn't notice her presence. Or perhaps it did and simply chose to let her pass, like a king sparing an insignificant intruder. Although this species of scorpion is extremely aggressive and doesn't hesitate to use its stinger with ease, its diet is surprisingly moderate. They eat only what they need. When night fell over the terrarium, everything changed dramatically. Textures grew deeper, shapes seemed to come alive in the dim light, and the colors bathed in the faint ultraviolet glow took on an otherworldly brilliance. The yellow scorpion, glowing with an almost ghostly radiance, looked like a creature from another world, defying the perception of reality. It was as if the entire terrarium had transformed into a stage of mystery and wonder under the cloak of darkness. After the scorpion passed, 
I found a fragment of something shimmering. Upon closer inspection, I realized it was a piece of its skin, glowing faintly as a trace of its presence. The perfect moment has arrived for this predator. The darkness of the night awakens its true instinct, as scorpions are nocturnal hunters by nature. Under the cover of shadows, they unleash their full skill, using their sharp senses to detect even the slightest movement. The glow scorpions emit under ultraviolet light is one of the most fascinating mysteries of their biology. This fluorescence is caused by the presence of chemical compounds in their cuticle, such as beta-carboline. Although the exact purpose of this phenomenon is still debated, some studies suggest it may help them detect moonlight or even protect them from radiation. Whatever its function, this glow makes them even more enigmatic creatures, revealing a nearly hidden detail of their complex adaptation to the environment. Finally, the scorpion decided to venture into the cave I had prepared for it. What it did next was truly fascinating. Once inside the cave, and now confident in its new shelter, it began to dig, showcasing its ability to shape its surroundings, transforming the space into a perfectly adapted hideout. Observe those curious combs on the underside of its body, known as pectines. Not only do they allow it to detect vibrations in the ground with astonishing precision, but they are also essential for reproduction, helping it locate chemical signals and choose the perfect spot for the encounter. The night was coming to an end in the terrarium. The next day, an unexpected swarm of crickets invaded the scorpion's habitat turning the terrarium into a scene full of movement and tension. They explored every corner, covering all areas and claiming the space as if it were their own. Some crickets, bold in their invasion, began digging small tunnels in the sand and devouring the green areas. A single cricket is harmless, almost a curious bystander, but when there are many, they become a rowdy team acting together, bringing chaos and movement to the terrarium as if they were throwing a party. All this commotion did not go unnoticed by the creature now dwelling in the depths of the cave. Underground, the scorpion stirred from its slumber, alert, ready to uncover what was disturbing the peace. Finally, a cricket, unaware, had crossed the threshold of the scorpion's lair the meal served. 